The Asian justice movement has given San Francisco police one month to release the video of the moment 63-year-old Yang Fang Wu was attacked and killed. The attack happened last year in the city's Bayview district. Police said it was an accident, but the community didn't buy it. Now that the case is back open, local Asian leaders tell our John Ramos they are still skeptical and they want to see the evidence for themselves. It's no secret that attacks against Asians have increased, especially among the elderly. But there is one case in particular that has some in the community wondering just how seriously the justice system is taking it. I was born and raised here. My family still has shops on Grand Street and Broadway Street. Hudson Lau says he feels a little guilty that he hasn't done enough to help the elders feel safe in San Francisco's Chinatown. Oh, that's Aunt Lily. You can say, if you say hi to Aunt Lily. In Chinatown, seniors are referred to as aunt or uncle as an acknowledgement of their position in the community. That's why we don't really just call people by the first name often usually, because, you know, it, it is that just built-in kind of natural respect. And that's why like, protecting elders, protecting seniors is so important to us. And that's also why images from across the country of Asian seniors being attacked have so enraged the AAPI community. Last summer, 63-year-old Yan Fang Wu died after being knocked to the ground near a bus stop in San Francisco's Bayview District. A month later, SFPD announced that after reviewing surveillance video, the incident was ruled to be an accident and the case was closed. But earlier this month, the same person who shoved Ms. Wu a woman named Thea Hopkins was arrested for allegedly attacking a 71-year-old Asian woman on Gilman Street, just five blocks away. Now Hudson and other Asian leaders are demanding that the Wu case be reopened and pursued as a hate crime. How many more Asian elders do you have to attack for there to be a hate crime? Do they have to have like a tattoo of I hate Asians before they kill someone and that's a hate crime? Like, we don't know, and, and the more you stay ambiguous, the more you let, uh, don't address this, the less confidence the community has. We want to understand what was the extent of investigation done by uh, our city authorities, and uh, was, was justice served? And we, we feel as a community that it was not. We want to know why you did the bare minimum to investigate this heinous crime. At an event on March 16th with Police Chief Bill Scott and Mayor London Breed in attendance, they demanded that city officials release the video to the public. So will it be you, Chief Scott? Or maybe District Attorney Brooke Jenkins? Or maybe you, Mayor London Breed? Honestly, I really don't give a who it is. As long as one of you become the leader you claim to be. The Asian community is usually supportive of law enforcement, so they're shocked to feel that police are not taking the threat seriously. And that's why we want to see the tape. If you're going to definitely say this is an accident again, the public has the right and need to know what you consider as an accident. And Hudson says he's tired of hearing that the attacks are not racially motivated. You have the information to see trends and stop it. If you see like certain groups of people getting victimized over and over, Maybe you should do something about it. The police have reopened the Wu case, citing new evidence. And the day after that public event, both the mayor and police chief announced that the video would be released to the public, but only after the investigation is complete, in a case that was officially closed nine months ago. When he reopened the case, San Francisco's police chief tweeted, the SFPD does not tolerate violence against our AAPI community, and we take these cases very seriously. The death of Yang Fang Wu is a tragedy. The SFPD will release the video in this case, as Mayor Breed requested, after the investigation is complete. He didn't say if they are investigating it as a hate crime specifically. In the two years between 2020 and 2022, San Francisco officials say hate crimes against the Asian community increased by more than 500 percent.